<laughs> we're, we're losing a lot of pointers in this country. <laughs> he's here. He's, he's sitting, sitting next to me. Whoa, I mean, isn't that incredible? All right. He's I, the streaming guy now. That's what you are. I, that joke is actually kind of true. I came up with that joke because my buddy Brad and I were sitting at the house one time, and he's dipping in a cup. <laughs> we're talking. He goes, you know what I'm going to do with my buddy no, Marty? No, 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 no. He goes, it's his birthday coming up. I'm going to poop in a FedEx box and send it to Marty. He's going to open it up for his birthday. I go, Marty, you can't do that. He goes, what do you mean I can't do that? I said, you can't poop in a FedEx pack and send it to somebody. It's illegal. It's like yeah. fertilizer. And he literally goes, you mean to tell me <laughs> I can't poop in a FedEx pack and send it to Marty? I said, no. And he said that. He goes, poof. We're losing a lot of freedom. <laughs> <laughs> so that's where I came up with that joke. That was an actual comment. And we allowed you to say it on this event. Family or <laughs> this program. Let me just say, it was an actual deal. But hey, let me tell you the cool thing about this. Now, the last time I was here, uh, the governor came down here and presented me with the key to the 24-hour fitness. What's that? <laughs> that's a joke. What? I don't get it. So the, the 24-hour fitness. That's a gym. Oh, is it? <laughs> <laughs> He's still very British. Instead of, the key, instead of the key to the city, he got the key to the gym. Oh, okay. So that's the gym. Oh, okay, I got it. I'm the he worst audience. He came down and gave me uh, the key to the 24-hour audience. Was that a British accent? <laughs> I don't know what it was. <laughs> now, wait a minute. I, I, I want to get you on politics, whether you Remind like it or not. Remind me not to invite you to a show. <laughs> yeah, don't. don't. <laughs> He's a great laugh track for you. <laughs> yeah. No. What do you make of Colin Kaepernick? <laughs> Won't stand up for the national anthem. Let's get serious for a second. If you uh, want to, what do you make of that? Here's the thing about when I do political, when people ask me political. <laughs> the the world is so crazy now. You can't have an opinion anymore. Because if your opinion isn't like somebody else's opinion, you're an idiot, you're a fat slob, you're a jerk, I hate your guts, I'm going to kill your kids. Yes. So it's, you, you can't have an opinion on anything. You can if you want to put up with the heat. And I got thick skin. So let me just say this. <laughs> say it. He's third string. He doesn't play that much anyway. You'd think wanting to stand for the national anthem, at least get him some exercise, get him up in the air every now and then. You know what I mean? I mean, for Pete's sake. You know. Let me ask you a non political question, just for one brief shining moment. We saw that clip there from the Netflix uh, deal that you've got coming up. That's right. Do, do you have a prearranged script, or you just get out there and stream a consciousness kind of thing? No, you know what? I'm a one liner comedian. I've always been a fan of the one liner guy so my I mean, in my act I mean if I do a one hour show that's 275 punchlines I mean I'm boom 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 you don't like that joke you don't think it's funny I got nine more in the next minute and a half <laughs> and so that's how I do my act and so it's yeah it's a prepared I know it's in your head it's in my head there's no teleprompter there. no so. teleprompter and I kind of go like now obviously you ad lib you throw things in you think of things on stage but it's pretty much that's what it is and then once you do a special like I just did I'll try with that special for a while, and then I'll gradually throw new jokes in, and by the time another year and a half comes around, you got pretty much 70% of it's all new again. Do you write them yourself, or have you got a team? Uh, you know, I write them my, myself. I got uh, two guys that have been with me forever in Colorado, and they've been helping me out, and so, yeah, it's a little, right. team, little team effort, <laughs> so I'd say it's a third, a third, and a third, but... Uh, a third, and a third, and a third. It's, me, it's a third. <laughs> But it's been pretty awesome. You were on Fox News, Fox and Friends this morning, and you said if Hillary is elected, it'll be the end of the country. Come on, back to politics. What do you mean by that? You did well, say that. Yeah, but yeah. So? <laughs> so give me some more. Well, look. <laughs> let's, okay, it won't be the end of the country. America is an awesome country. It will be like a frog in boiling water. We just start gradually getting worse and worse and we don't have any clue what's happening to us. Look, I don't hate anybody at all. I have different political opinions, so let me just say this. One, there's people in jail that have done worse than she's done. She's a criminal. That's a fact. I mean, there's, 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 people, that go, there's people going to jail for doing what she did. <laughs> you know, I okay. think I think. Look, when you when you when you have somebody running for president, 
that has committed the crimes that she's committed not by not concealing her emails like people get it I mean put him on on servers that people can get into and then flat out looking at the American people and lying to them I mean when she said uh, well they've had released everything I got I mean they let them go ahead and look at them released everything oh hey guess what here we are seven months later they just found 15,000 more that you didn't release <laughs> and she acts like that's no big deal I'm a pretty even keel dude just be honest. Okay. Just be yeah. honest with what you so so we really want to elect somebody that has already looked you straight in the eye and flat out lied to you? Really? And I'm not saying the other guy is any better, but I'm just saying I don't want somebody like that leading the country. I mean, when you're just getting bold-faced lied to you. And there's some people that are apologists. They can care less what she does. Mm. She, she can lie straight. It doesn't matter to them. They hate the other side so bad that they don't care. I'm not that way. It's like, just be honest with me. I can tell you really feel about this. That is the first time that you and I have ever told where you've gone out of character. When you've got, when, well, when look, you've it's out a, of your it's a, it's a serious issue. First time you ever done. And I love the country. I want it to do good, but I do not want my elected official to look me in the eye, lie to me, and do something completely different, and then be mad at me. But uh, what I say about it, that's BS. Larry, the streaming guy, will look at that. And I'll tell you something else, Barney. Whoa. Hey, Larry. Thank you, Larry. Thank you, Larry. <laughs> Two is great stuff. I got hair. Look at that. Yeah, Shake that hair. I got a full head of it. Better than mine. All right, everybody. We'll be back.